Warning, the following show features a woman who is 39 years old and unmarried. If you have been diagnosed as someone severely disturbed by 39-year-old women not yet claimed by a big brain man, i.e. my mom, my grandmother, Chris Harrison, then please proceed with caution. We at Trashler do not recommend being single at 39, as it leads to potentially fatal side effects such as too much money, abundance of freedom, clear skin, third eye, faster internet speeds, and excessive masturbation. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome back to The Trashler. I'm Callie, and if you think I actually listen to Metallica, <laughs> you're stupid. The fourth horseman of the apocalypse has arrived in the form of a new season of The Bachelorette, and... <laughs> I am so ready. Just take me away from all this. Quick thing, I did start a Trashler Fantasy League, Go Sports. It's free, it's fun, it's reducing men to objects. What more could you possibly want? I'll put the link somewhere. You'll be able to find it, okay? I believe in you. I'm not a salesperson, all right? Let's just get into it. So I don't know if you know this, but Claire's 39. I'm 39. To be sitting here at 39. I'm the oldest bachelorette. This 39. This, this would be very cool and progressive of the bachelor overlords if it wasn't shoved down our throats. <music> to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the first couple of episodes in a new season. There's just way too many people. I mean, one girl and 31 guys? What is this, me at Florida State University? <laughs> it is a big cast, but I'm happy that they're very diverse and very hot. You know, like Derek Zoolander's roommates. Orange mocha frappuccino! <laughs> <laughs> so Claire meets all of Derek Zoolander's roommates for the very first time, and she's wearing this gray sequin dress and her hair's in a half updo. I mean, I really didn't want to say this, but her style just reminds me of Claire's, okay? There, that's her nickname. She will now be referred to as Claire's, I'm sorry. So there's just a ton of dudes. There's a guy named Easy, no relation. There's a guy, Damar, who's a spin instructor. Come on, Claire, turn the resistance up three notches, let's go! There's a guy named Chasen, whose name is either Chase or Jason. Okay, you can't have both. Then there's Dale, who Claire's absolutely loves for very good reasons. He's hot, he's hot, he's hot. Uh, oh, and uh, he's also really hot. Claire's calls him her husband and this immediately summons Oh Holiness Chris Harrison. What did you just say? You know this means I have to kill you. Right? Oh, and there's two Blake M's, okay? In one group of 31 guys, there's not only two guys named Blake, but they both have the same last initial of M. It's a statistical miracle. They didn't tell us this though, so after we meet all these guys who just go by their first names, all of a sudden someone comes out and his name is Blake Monar, like it's trademarked. Blake Monar. Yes, hi, Blake Monar. It's Blake Monar, bitch. And I don't even have time to get into Patrick Bateman right now, but overall, this seems like a pretty fit group of guys. We get our first rose ceremony and the West Virginia lawyer gets shafted, along with a guy who has soup nuts tattooed on his knuckles. Soup gang, ride or die, spoons up, hoo hoo. My winner of the week is whoever said this. Yeah, spill the tea, <laughs> the tea yeah. bro. My loser of the week is, you guessed it, socks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey class, I'm going on The Bachelorette, so I'm gonna miss our next two to 16 classes. Just remember, mind, body, cardio. Whoa.